Welcome, it's week four to the Catch the 5K episodes. Let's get after it. Welcome back. Uh, let's talk about couch to 5k uh, for week number four. We're gonna do four days instead of three days. First day is going to be uh, kind of similar to the last day of last week. You're gonna do a little bit longer running. How about let's start with five minute uh, walk. Um, and also make sure you're doing your five minute warm up, your dynamic stretching before and do your five minute walking and they're going to run for five minutes and walk for one minute and do that period for 30 minutes. Uh, day number two, uh, <clears throat> you're going to skip a day and you're going to go day number two and it's going to be a little bit more of a speed work. You're going to do a, a total of 15 minutes. Again, make sure you're warming, warming up and then you're gonna go and walk for five minutes, and then you're gonna do um, run for a half mile and walk for a half a mile, and do that for a period of 15 minutes. Okay, let's talk about uh, the third day of the Couch to 5K. So I'd like for you to do is, you're gonna be running for five minutes and then walking for one minute. And you're gonna do that for a period of 30 minutes. And again, you're make sure that you're doing a warm up, uh, five minute warm up with the dynamic stretching that we shared with uh, in the previous episodes. And also doing, making sure that you do your five minute walking before you uh, doing your, your running, walk run series. And so then um, the next day, day number four, you're going to do uh, a little bit longer. You're gonna do about 10 minutes, uh, 10 minutes running and then walking for two minutes. As a period of 30 minutes there, this is a little bit longer. So that walking, that running, I want you to make sure that you're doing conversational pace, meaning when you run, you can be able to talk to the person next to you, be able to comfortably run. Now, whenever you're doing day two that we talked about doing a little bit shorter running, you're going to be doing running for half a mile and then running for a half a mile. So that half mile run, you're going to do a little bit quicker pace and that's going to kind of help you uh, gain a little bit more speed, but definitely be careful with that. I definitely don't want you to overdo it. And again, with that longer pace on 10 minutes, just take your time with it. And so when you're, uh, after you're doing your run, uh, so let's continue doing some of the strengthening exercises that I shared with you guys last, uh, last couple episodes there. So <clears throat> the first one that we're going to do this week is something called a hip hike. And so you're going to grab a stool. And what you're going to do is you're going to step on a step. And then you're going to dip down. And then come back up. When you come back up, you're going to come out with your leg, come back down. Dip back down. Come back up and a kick out. That's gonna help create a little bit of stability in your hips there and help you with your, your stability with the ankle, hip, and knee. And so you can do about 20 repetitions on that. So the next thing you're gonna do is <clears throat> you can use a band, any, any type of band here is you're gonna do some side stepping. 
And again, this is going to help with building strength with the side of your hip throughout. And that's going to be definitely the theme with a lot of things that we do with running is help improve stability with the side of your hip as well as the back of your hip, your hip extent, extensors. And so you're going to place this band around your legs. And so what you're going to do, you're going to do some sidestepping. Keep your knees bent slightly and sidestep. And you can pick a hallway in your house. And you do one minute in one direction, one minute the other direction. The other one that you're going to do is something called a monster walk. You're going to do this kind of wide base, keeping your knees bent, and walking forward and then walking back. And it's going to help create some stability in those hips there. And so those are the exercises I want you guys to work on um, for this week. And you can do those every day if you want to. Uh, as well as the other ones too to kind of help you with your stability while running. And it's going to keep you healthy, stronger, and be able to enjoy your 5K whenever you get to that point. If you have any comments with uh, this week's uh, Catch a 5K episode, please let me know in the comments. Let me know how your, your training is doing. Are you following this? You know, is this something that you're hoping that you're going to do? Uh, so let me know in the comments there. So I hope everyone keeps safe, keep running, and we'll see you next time.